Hey guys, it's Jake at Beeman Buick GMC in downtown Nashville, Tennessee. This is a 2022 GMC Sierra 2500 HD with the 6.6 .6 liter turbo diesel engine. This has the AT4 package, so that is the off-road package. I'm gonna take you a walk around the outside and show you all the features on the inside. You're gonna love this thing. Stick around, check it out. All right, let's start off with the grill. Obviously with the AT4, you're gonna get that more blacked out sport looking grill. Beautiful hood scoop here. We got the front camera built in. The red tow hooks are a really nice feature right there. I love these LED fog lights and this really cool daytime running light, this LED that just makes that sort of C shape around the outside and those triple beam LED headlights on the inside. Really sharp looking front end. Let me get you straight on so you can really see this thing. Really very impressive front end here. Over here we've got the reflectors over the wheel well with the GMC logo inside it. We also have HD right here on that chrome piece. Nice AT4 wheels. I love the gloss black with the machine finish. Here's our badge for the Duramax 6.6 .6 liter. Allison transmission, so that's a 10 speed Allison transmission. I love these lights right here. These actually light up and I uh, have a nice bright glow to them. LEDs as well. AT4, in case you didn't know. <laughs> One thing you'll notice is that it's a pretty high truck and it doesn't have any running boards on this one. You can get them, but uh, this one is no running boards. Love that step side right there that's right by the fuel tank. <clears throat> Over here we've got, this is definitely gonna help you out with those tie downs. Um, on the inside, look at, there's three tie downs right there. We got three more there. We've got them obviously matching on the same side here. Going around, we got another very generous step right here on the bumper of course the uh, tailgate is awesome it's our um, our pro tailgate that folds down and splits in two so you can have a nice workbench also a nice uh, easy access to unload your cargo trailer hitch is there already look at that big old exhaust pipe that is about 3,500 pounds towing capacity about 18,500 pounds great work truck and the best part in my opinion is on the inside it's got this really really luxurious inside let's go check it out right here we have the smart access so if you have the key fob in your pocket you can actually press that unlock the doors or lock the doors if you're trying to walk away um, right here we have the blind spot monitor system that'll show up orange on the inside we have power seats for the driver this really nice um, contrasted inserts right here. This is for the AT4 package. Also nice embossed stitching right there. Over here, we've got the Bose sound system. We do have memory seats for the driver and uh, we have our power sliding mirrors and power folding mirrors. Over here, we got a cluster of goodies. So we've got trailering mode here. We've got our two wheel drive or four wheel drive high and low or just automatic. We have the, uh, the bed light. We have the lights right here, automatic, and um, we've got our auxiliary ports as well. Here's a nice switch. This is our heads up display. I'm gonna show you what that looks like and the different info that you can see. And right here we can see the automatic high beam. So when you're driving down the road, it can actually switch to low beams all by itself when there's a, a car approaching. Nice moonroof right here. And we will take a look at the inside. All right, here's a look from the driver's position. Um, on the left-hand side, we do have our cruise control settings, pre-collision setting right here, also your heated steering wheel. On this side, we've got our voice recognition button. This is gonna be answering and ending your phone calls. This controls all the information between our gauges. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, do a standard view here, but as you can see, this is the home screen. On the left-hand side, we got an analog tachometer. On the right-hand side, we've got our analog speedometer, but we can do a digital speedometer. And take a look at that white square. That white square is actually going to be a 
real-time reading of your speed limit so there's a camera that's going to capture that when you drive past a speed limit sign that way you can know even in a construction zone what the speed limit is um, we have of course all of our different gauges um, those digital gauges up at the top and we can see of course that we're in a two-wheel drive mode here um, down here uh, we can hit to the right and we can take it over to uh, like the info page so you can see our fuel economy fuel filter um, we can also see roll and pitch and um, def meter all these different pieces of info that you might need to have a successful journey to the right we've got a radio which can also be um, xm and it can also be apple carplay then we've got our navigation which is really cool because you can actually pull up some you know recent trips just from your steering wheel i can control all of it for my steering wheel i don't have to get involved with that um, but also to the right we've got our phone and connectivity plus settings now if you didn't notice already it does have that cool um, brown stitching contrasted stitching around the inside adding to that at4 feel plus this brushed uh, look right here this is plastic but it is looking pretty uh, pretty sporty and and cool um, this is kind of cool because it it kind of reminisces of the grill on the front of this truck but also on the the Yukons um, over here we've got a little place to store some gear sunglasses phone whatever you need then we've got our big touch screen display this again has Apple CarPlay, but it also has wireless Apple CarPlay and wireless Android Auto. You could have your own Wi-Fi hotspot if you got to do work in your truck. Um, this is going to be your built-in navigation system. You can take up the whole screen, or you could have the split screen like you saw. And then uh, we can swipe and we can see some more features like, you know, my GMC. Actually, this is a really cool piece too. The camera system in this is amazing. We've got a front camera right here, which we can change to different kind of views. Um, this one will zoom us in like a nose down view. We also have a nose down view of the bed. This is gonna be sort of like a uh, 360 degree sort of, and then this is for your trailer camera. Um, this is like left side, right side, and bird's eye. And then check this out uh, over here. We've got a camera for the bed, so that's really sick. Plus um, you can zoom in just on that hitch so you can hook up your hitch with ease. A lot of camera features there um, going over here to the trailering uh, again we can kind of get started with all these different features here checking on your trailer it's got a whole mode just for that so this is definitely built for work but also luxury as well so here's our um, radio controls and then right in here we've got our climate controls dual climate like that also we've got the heated seats here and ventilated seats for the driver and the passenger Let's get into the row right here. So we've got your exhaust brake. We have our lane departure alert. That's gonna keep us um, from drifting or letting us know that we are drifting. Parking sensors, power tailgate release here, flashers, traction control, tr turning on your um, outlets, and then of course your descent control here. Um, trailer braking is here. We also have your USB-C and USB-A plus a uh, adapter and then your 110 volt wireless charging in this nice big tray right here right here you got your pen holder or coins whatever you need I like the nice big cup holders so that we could have handles sticking out to the side right here and then we have a beautiful like custom you know it looks kind of custom because it has this contrasted stitching and then a perforated leather in the middle um, opening this up oh, got a lot of gear in there but that's because it's brand new so those are your trailer uh, braking uh, wires also USB-C and USB normal with auxiliary and SD card, if you can't see that. We do have two glove boxes over here, one high, one low. The bottom one is lockable. Um, there's your Bose sound system. And then look at those cool inserts. So this way, if you like the comfort of the carpet on the floor, you can do that, or you could pop that out, and then it's just rubber. So you can spray it out, or you can uh, you know, clean it out really easily. It's up to you. Um, we do have uh, a nice passenger seat as well very comfortable over here same at4 embossed and uh both sound system like i said all right here's a view of that heads up display now on a camera an led light is going to flash um, that's because it is actually captured by the camera but not by the naked eye so it's going to look like it's blinking but in real life it's not um again here's the uh, other options you can see you can see like your lane departure alert 
Um, you can also see your directions, your navigation, um, roll and pitch. Also, you can see uh, the speed and the speedometer. So you can get your, um, you can see the speed limit sign right here when it catch, captures it with the camera. Also, you can make it a little dimmer, a little brighter, and uh, we can change the height of it as well. So it can go up and down, and uh, that way it's custom to you. So great, great heads up display, makes it a lot safer to keep your eyes on the road. Up here we have the moonroof, which will slide back, but also we have the power sliding rear window, and then we have a tilt option for the moonroof as well. Now, this is really cool uh, right in here. We have a regular mirror but we also have a digital rear view mirror so if your cargo is so full that you can't see out the back window or if your view from the black back window is blocked this is actually going to be a nice option for you so you can actually adjust um, you know the brightness of it you can adjust the uh, like you can zoom in you can zoom out yeah, whatever is easiest for you but this is going to a, to be a nice digital rear view mirror for you to see out the back even when your cargo is full I gotta say the back seat is nice and spacious. Again, here's a closer view of that insert for the carpet. And you got this nice all weather mat underneath. Over here, we can see that it's got a USB C and a USB port plus the adapter if you need it. And you got a couple of cup holders for these folks. In the armrest here, um, we can pull that down. We got more cup holders. And if you don't already know, it's got a hidden compartment right here keep whatever you need straps things like that Glock you know and uh, also this lifts up really easily as well so um, you just got to give it a little muscle and you have a little storage compartment down here there's your uh, your spare tire tools that seat will do the same thing so you have a really nice spot if you want to load it up full of cargo or if you have a dog that you want to put back here great spot I love how easy it is to lift those up and down. Let's just take a closer look at this tailgate. So when I press that, just the top half of the tailgate pops down. The Multi-Pro tailgate is pretty awesome. Also, this little guy can flap up as well. So if you have something like a piece of plywood that sticks out a little ways, you've got a nice foot there to keep it held in place. Also, what I wanted to show you is um, on the inside here, we've got these beautiful LED bed lights that actually shine into the bed instead of them shining sort of like this way or back at you, it shines that way so you can really light up what you're seeing. Now here we can press this and it drops down the, the main tailgate, just like that. So that's your classic option. Plus we do have this um, handrail right here. So this pops up like this. And that way it'll help you get into the vehicle. If you need to step up here, grab the handle. Also, when we drop this tailgate down, we have a full on stair step to get in your vehicle. Um, step right here, grab onto the handle and you're up. So great vehicle. There's that digital review, review camera plus the bed camera right there. This one's going for $78,530, just the way it's equipped. Um, this one is actually already sold, but I was able to take a video of it for you guys. If you guys wanna see more of this kind of truck, if you wanna see more of the GMC lineup, like the Yukons and the Yukon XLs, follow my channel, give me a thumbs up, and also come see me at Beeman. I'm here at Beeman Buick GMC in downtown Nashville. This is Jake, take care.